everybody, welcome to Mission Accomplished Media. I'm Mike. And I'm Matt. And today we're going to review uh, Season 1, Episode 8 of uh, Star Trek Picard. Yeah. Uh, which I thought was a good episode. So yeah. what did you think? Uh, it was a good episode. I didn't quite think it was as good as Episode 7, mm -hmm. but um, better than 5 and 6. Yeah, So definitely. Um, yeah. You know, basically the, the show picks up pretty much right from where we left off. And you still have a lot of those, like, connections being brought forward. So, um, yeah, but, I mean, overall, this was a solid, solid episode uh, of a show that now I'm actually kind of feel like I want to watch it, you know? Yeah, uh, I, I agree with you. I agree with you on that. I want to watch more of the show now because on episode 8 of the first season, it's not even episode 10 yet, mm -hmm. uh, we, we got all the answers... To the big question yep. of season one. I really appreciate it, though. Yeah, it's really... Now it's like... It's... Now they have to solve the physical issue. Mm -hmm. The moral dilemma, mental dilemmas have kind of been resolved. Yeah. And the pieces have fallen in place. And now they have a, a, an action that they can take mm -hmm. that they think is going to solve this the physical problem. Yeah. Um, so, uh, let's... let's we liked the episode. Yeah. Be um, before we get in the, I, I, we're get, we're heading towards spoilers. Mm -hmm. But technically, I thought this was a really good episode too. Like, I, I didn't like even in the last episode, I noticed some uh, unnecessary cutting mm -hmm. in episode seven. I thought this was better technically a little. Yeah, better directed. Yeah, um, better shot. Mm -hmm. it, it was you know. Uh, Better use of space. Yeah. A uh, couple Dutch angles when there's some long shots of them sitting at a table. Yeah. Talking and stuff. Just a better use of the camera. I agree with the, you. It's a much more cinematic experience even when there was a... Uh, I mean, even when it's like a far back view yeah. of this massive structure. Right. It's still very cinematic the way that they did it, the way the camera moved, everything like that. Yeah, it just felt very smooth. And I, yeah. You know, so technically I think this is a really good, good episode. Mm -hmm. Um... So we should probably just say, like, um, again, that we both think this episode, episode A, is a mission accomplished. Oh. Um, we don't want to, we want to start talking about spoilers yep. at this point. So if you want to watch the episode, uh, again, this is a good episode. should check it out. Yeah. So, and if you're, not, if you're not here for spoilers and want to peace out, remember yeah. to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Yeah. And uh, if you're sticking around, uh, here we go. Spoilers from here on out. Yeah, Holy absolutely. shit, we know everything now. Absolutely. We know everything. Yeah. Yes. Well, not everything. Not but, everything. Yeah. But we know uh, who that redhead lady was who, right. who, who, who was doing the cards. Mm -hmm. uh, I forget what her name is. Sorry. It's like episodes and episodes ago. <laughs> uh, but we know who she is, why she's important, and why she was important to uh, the... Oh, uh, Narissa. Yeah. Um, and the shot Vaj. Yeah, and the shot Vaj. We know who that Commodore O is half Vulcan, half R uh, Romulan. Yep. Um, but takes more so after the Vulcan side of her. Mm -hmm. uh, but she also knows what's up. Um, we know that both Narissa and that other lady, uh, the redhead lady, um, uh, know the secret as well. Right. Uh, that's why they're doing this. We know that Gerardi also knows the secret. Mm -hmm. Um and that's what she was shown, which is why, like, and that's what we, what we said last episode, was that, like, she's, like, a true believer. Yeah. And, like, now you've got a lot more of that. Like, during the vision, um, I'll finish up in, like, a sec. Yeah. And, like, but during the vision, there is that, there's, like, that cool, fo like, uh, still, not still image, but there's a cool, like, shot of just, like, the eyes and the nose yeah. area, and it's completely synthetic. And you can, mm -hmm. But then it, like... It like morphs or cross dissolves or whatever into like yeah. Data's face right yeah, there. Yeah, the yellow eyes. Yeah, so yeah. it's like it's equating that to Data. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've got uh, later on in the episode, like and we pretty much find out that there's like a planet of these things. Yeah. So um, right. also Rios. This is what I'm talking about when I said the spiritual part of it. Like everything's yeah. interweaving. Like Rios has already had contact with Soji and Dodge in the yeah, form of Jana. Of, of Jana. Yeah. So um, it's like, and then. They all come back around, and uh, eventually at the end of the episode, they're all sitting around a table, and <laughs> like this is when all this stuff comes out, and right. like, uh, Jurati can't talk about the stuff yeah, she's unless had, uh, someone yeah. else already she's mental blocked. Yeah. But if someone else already knows, she can kind of just say it. Like you already know. Yeah. Yes, I can. I can say yes because you're right. You're correct. Weird. Whatever. It's how mental blocks work, I guess. Yeah. Um. I mean, there's there's a. Uh... I, I still think the the scenes with Gerardi 
overall are still my least favorite scenes in the show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I I don't particularly like the casting, the you know this, and it's just the continual portrayal of this person is just kind of like sniveling, uh, weakling. Like she doesn't seem to have much of a backbone. Yeah, a and she like folds to this being a true believer very easily, and then like but all of them flip flops. Do. Even Narissa. Well, she flip flops when she meets Soji. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, like, but that's the thing. She's conf like. That's yeah. why we're supposed to relate to her, because she's so conflicted, because her life's work is synthetic, but now she knows that her life's work could lead to the downfall of all of the galaxy. Right, or right. Blah, 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 or, right? Well, yeah. How would you feel if your life's work was going to be the downfall of humanity? Um, pretty good, probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's like... When I said humanity, I meant like all life. Matters. I know, I know what you meant. Yeah. Um, existence. Yeah. The, um... Pretty good... <laughs> <laughs> the uh, it, it to me it's just like the, there's a few little things that just like um, the whole this secret will melt your mind and what they show while it's like not good as a planet blowing up yeah it doesn't seem to be mind melting secret it's not enough it, like like one planet blowing up it, yeah. only, it only seems like it's one planet blowing up right. And then it happened thousands and she says it Tens happened of thousands of years ago. Yeah, or something like that, or yeah. thousands of decades ago. Or I don't fucking, the way she words it, it's weird. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's 100,000 years ago, or something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. It's like, yeah, okay, it's very, very long time ago, gotcha. Mm -hmm. When mankind was nothing in the space, this happened. Right, yeah. That's really what it means. Um, yeah, it's basically in a galaxy far, far away. And mm -hmm. <laughs> a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. What did you think of the eight? The octagonal sun system. I mean, it's a cool concept. Or, like, I don't. The they show that like the what basically seems to be like some type of infographic. Mm -hmm. Like, it just looks like a a, a Venn diagram. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, like I'm, I'm waiting for like, these are the individuals that like the show. <laughs> you know, I, but it's like, um, the concept is kind of cool. Like, I want to see it. Mm -hmm. You know, and they show you it from a distance as a little CGI, but you don't, like, usually, like, you would think they would have, like, went into it, kind of, like, yeah. with the camera and gone into the CGI, but um, I have a feeling that they're maybe saving their CGI budget for when we physically get to that point. Possibly, Because, yeah. I mean, that's basically the result, is that they need to get to this system with the eight suns, which was, at some point, built. Is what they what they kind of get to. Yeah, it was uh, built. And, and this is this you, is, you literally had to move suns light years right. across the solar system. This is one of the like. kind of things that's a, it's a little kooky, but like Rafi is just solving the the the, the plot out of thin thick air. Not that, no, there's there's <laughs> breadcrumbs that are there's breadcrumbs. But she like picks up a little tiny breadcrumb and then figures out the loaf. But but you will because yeah. well that's the thing because she's been looking into this yeah, for I'm, years and years and years. It just, it just felt a little yeah. easy. Yeah, but I mean that now here's the thing. I Rafi mean, it, has it, it, now it, served her purpose. Yeah, she's so gonna die. she might be a red shirt now. Yeah, she's a red shirt. I mean, shirt I don't now. know. Who knows. Um, also Gerardi has kind of served her purpose. She has. And it's either like it's either she's going to end up in prison. Mm -hmm. I, I have this feeling that she's she's going to either Need to be protected, or like you brought up, like sacrifice yourself, mm -hmm. and that's her like the redemption. Re redemption, yeah. like they like they're either gonna realize <clears throat> that they can't move forward without her, and so now instead of turning her in, they're some gonna ha somehow gonna have to make sure that she doesn't get taken in. Yeah, um, they're heading towards Deep Space Twelve, so I'm a little excited to see like how they represent this Deep Space Twelve. Um, oh. Uh, station, you probably won't see like the. I don't know if they'll have a commanding officer or a lot of that stuff, but mm. yeah, I want to see like. Are all the deep space stations shaped the same? I don't know. Oh, okay, because I'm like I, deep space nine in my head. I'm like, we're gonna get a deep space like nine kind of a callback because it's the same. Mm, maybe, yeah, uh, maybe it's a little bit more modern or something like that, yeah, you know, um, or maybe it's less modern because it's like supposed to be throwback, but. No, I'm, I'm excited to see like the the CGI probably in this next episode of when they hit that system. I'm I'm assuming they're investing a good amount of time and, and money into that because it's going to be like like the flagship set for the last. Yeah, but I don't act. know if they're actually going to go there because at the end of this episode, Soji's like, 
go. I want to go home. I want to go home. I don't want to go to the Deep Space Station. I want to go home. Right. So I wonder if we're going to get that in Episode 10. They have to run mm-hmm. away somewhere. They're being chased. Yeah, they are. Right, they're being chased. They have to run away from that planet. Right. They run away from that planet being chased by either the synthetics that are on that planet or by the Romulans who are trying to kill them. This, I, and I, then I they get to Starfleet, Deep, right. Deep Space 12, and then maybe the Starfleet squadron shows up and saves the day. And am I figuring out the finale right now or, as we or speak? It's, like, or it's O's squadron. Or, or it's O's squadron, yeah. And they're captured, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, but I think... Did he know about Commander O at this point, and he told her she is, she's a. What, did that happen you don't before see, or after the? See it. You don't. You don't see him telling her that O is a problem. Yeah. Um, and that interaction with that again, she curses at him. Yeah, and it's just like okay, like you shut know, the f up. Yeah. And she, well, she gives him what he asked for. So yeah. He doesn't care. Yeah, he doesn't care at all. He doesn't <laughs> yeah. care at all. Yeah, so... But also, she caved, I feel like she caved too much. I feel like she's on o, Commodore O's side. Who knows? I, I don't know. We're getting uh, ahead of ourselves a Yeah, bit. The jumping... But jumping this, this is all this episode really was. So this episode is, uh, is pretty much them telling each other uh, stuff and us, and then it's the Borg stuff with um, 709 assimilating and then unassimilating the Borg. But there's also, like, I don't want to say it, a cool genocide scene, <laughs> but well, that's technically what it is. It, it's cool because, like, you see the Romulans, like, it, it's like a final solution type thing. They open the board cube, and all these board that were just activated by 709 fly out into yeah. space. Well, they do that to distract her yeah. so that they can all get away. Right. Because they're like, if we don't run, we're effed. Yeah, and I thought it, it was cool, like... 709 takes control of the cube, and mm-hmm. she locks out the ramen, so they can't control the cube. Uh, at that point, Carissa's like, well, if this has happened, then... Nerissa? Nerissa. Carissa. And Nerissa explains it all. Yeah, that's what say <laughs> that, yeah. That's what this episode was, though. Yeah. I mean, not, but, but not her, but yeah, explains it all. So when you true. first see Nerissa, her and her, like, she's she's sending uh, some of her people after, after Elnor. Mm-hmm. Um... Who? Are you going to assimilate me now? <laughs> well, that was later. I know, but it's but, so funny that he but said so, that. So they go in the room, and he, they throw a flashbang, and he's still able to take out, like, three guys, even blind. Yeah. Uh, so he's huh. bad, bad. Or, like, he starts stumbling at the end. He's starting to get beat, and Seven and Nine rescues him. Um, so Out of nowhere. Don't see the ship docking. Yeah. Don't see it fly into the... Uh, to the sector. Right. Don't see it approach the pork cube. No. Nope. Just out of nowhere. Oh, out of like, the shadows comes seven and nine. She's pew, like, where, pew, where's pew. you? What? Where's oh, you? yeah. Where's you? He's dead. Yeah. He so, did. Um, but now that seven and nine's there, uh, Elnor knows that they can access the queen cell. Mm-hmm. And so they make their way towards the queen cell. And I believe at that point we cut to back to the ship, right? Yeah. I mean, it's all... It's, I mean, uh, we can we not to like... No, I know. I'm just. I'm just. Yeah, I hear you. I just like because there's not much more that happens until they get to the queen cell. Yeah, but what I mean is when they. I just want to make sure I have it linear correct. Um, Because at a point they do make it to the queen cell, Mm -hmm. um, and seven nine takes control of the cube. At that point, Uh, you see these little machines start crawling on the outside of the cube, and it looks like it's like its healing program or something. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Because you see the holes patching up, but um, yeah, it's like like worker drones, right? Mechanical, totally 100% mechanical <laughs> worker drones. Yeah. I have to specify because there's normal board drones that are... <laughs> yes. So, yeah. But in the queen cell, so so she's she's activated the cube and she can see all the individuals that are still mm-hmm. bored, right? Uh, and it's like a big, you see a big mass of them. But meanwhile, Nerissa is like, at this point, I'm just going to start killing them all. Yeah. And she goes into the room and starts, she like, kills like 20 of them. It's a and lot. They're like helpless too. Like, yeah, they, they don't have any weapons. They're all just yeah. like backed against the wall. She just pew pews them all to death. Yeah, she. Slaughtered. That's when uh, that's when a seven and nine note. That's when Narek notice. I'm not Narek. <laughs> Elnor. Sorry. Elnor. That's when Elnor notices that the the all the dots that yeah, it's she that. happened to say. Let's all look bored. Right. Land, like bored. Right. Like start dwindling off the thing. Yeah. So like at one point you see seven and nine makes a suggestion for her to take over the control of this mini collective Mm -hmm. because she doesn't want to connect them. She doesn't want to connect them back to the main collective. Uh, and Elnor's like, 
that sounds like a great idea. And He's at, all innocent. Yeah, at the same point, I'm like, yeah, that does sound like a great idea. Mm -hmm. Like an overwhelming force that you could... You want me to yeah. violate their minds? <laughs> you want me to... You want me to assimilate <laughs> them? Yeah, that was a little, uh... But then, and he's like, well, then just let them go when you're done. And he's like, they, she's like, they won't want to be let go. I won't want them to. <laughs> yeah, like, I won't very... want to let them go either. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> it was a little over... Just, yeah, I don't know. It was just... It was weird. a little melodramatic. Yeah, I but, I, I mean... But, oh, well, being part of the collective is right, so nice. It, it's, like, oh, okay. It's, um... It, it, it's good for the character. It, it, it can only come from that character. Maybe Picard could do the same thing. Yeah. But um, but she ends up becoming like a local Borg queen, basically. Yeah. And she... Eyes get all black. Yeah. Green X's and shit. Right. It, that's kind of cool. And, and you see all the Borg little individual cubes light up. And then the Romulans open the cube. Yeah. And, and my, the biggest, my biggest disappointment is they got the cube open before there was like any real threat from this force. Oh, like, yeah. I, like they I would have liked I would have liked to have seen a couple individuals like maybe and you would, <sighs> I think later in the episode you do see that some Borg did manage to stay on the on the Oh cube. yeah, it's all like here's the thing. Yeah. So so but they the, Bo the the Borg cube is is a big square, yeah. right? And they're only opening up the outer layer right. of the cube and the only reason that the Romulans are doing that is to distract. Right. Uh, seven of nine, so that they can get away. Well, yeah, and because there's every single layer of that cube has board. Well, yeah, and they want to, and this this group, this Jat Vaj, wants to kill all synthetics. All, all yeah. synthetics anyway, so they don't care about the the Borg in that sense. They're not individuals. They're not something to rescue. I and guess they so, do consider them to be synthetic, don't they? Yeah, yeah. That's why they're. Hmm. And I think I think like the whole. What Hugh is doing is trying to show them that there's another way, and they're like, yeah, whatever. Like, yeah. it takes you five times longer to rehab one when we're, you know, trying to save the, trying to save the, the universe from these, you know, basically what I think they consider is like pests. You know, they, they treat them like, like no, well, yeah. insects, you mm -hmm. know. Or less, yeah. Uh, yeah, or even less. Um. It was cool when when Seven and Nine got hooked up to the cube though. They like we saw in the preview last, and we mentioned it was the tubes connect to her spine. You see, they like overlay like a, a connection grid on her back, and the, the like the things come down and connect to like certain almost like ports in her spine. Her spine, yeah. Um, her spine glows really bright. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it. I don't know if her spine is glowing really bright, or, or if it's over, supposed to be something like overlay. I think it was like, like an overlay. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but that that was kind of cool. Like, ooh, does that mean that she has that technology inside of her to make that overlay above her skin to be able to plug in and then? Uh, maybe. Right. I'm just. It's an idea. Yeah. It's a cool idea. Yeah. It's a cool I, kind yeah. of. Uh, I can see it. It's like the Omni Blade kind of a thing on uh, on Mass Effect. It's like a like you said. That's just like it's like all that stuff. Right. That, you know what they're using, which is yeah, in the, the air, blah blah blah. The display. The hollow stuff. display. Yeah, yeah, but it has. You know, oomphness, to, like right. a substance, like a mm -hmm. holodeck stuff. Right, like hard light, not yeah. just the. Mm -hmm. hard, thank you, hard light. Yeah, I forgot that that's what the the uh, sci-fi yeah. fantasy term is. Yes, hard, hard light. light. Yeah. yeah. Um, Same thing. This this is supposed to be a, a a light blade. Right. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So um, that was cool. Like. I thought it was like the the CGI looked good when she was like using her hands in the air. Like I thought they followed it pretty well, mm -hmm. um, you know. And then basically, uh, what you see is the Romulans are are bouncing from the cube, um, and you know, it basically they're just done with it. Like mm -hmm. they don't even seem to care. Nurse gets overwhelmed, but then teleports out. Yeah, that was the one thing. The few Borg that you do see that survive the opening of the, the cube, they do flood the room, or they take out her personal guard before she knows it, mm -hmm. and then they flood the room she's in. She takes out a good bit of, a good few Couple of them yeah. before they overwhelm her. Uh, but you do see her teleport out, and then you see all the ships flying away. Yeah. Um, but that was, like, I, I mean... I actually like Narissa as a character. I think she she shows a little bit more depth than I think Narek d did. Mm -hmm. uh, and Narek's not gone. You just don't really see him much in this episode. Yeah, he just happens to be waiting right next to a Borg node. Yeah. 
Like at the yeah, yeah. At, the, at the end. Like, at the end. He just happens to be waiting exactly where he th- but I guess he's like figured out like I, yeah, it's it's implying that Narek knows way more already. Mm-hmm. Like, so maybe Narissa told him what's going on. It seems on? like he, this, he she have a mental he, block. It too? seems like he knows everything, mm-hmm. but he needs uh, Soji. Yeah. Also, why are all the Jatfage women? I don't know. I'm not, I just I, noticed that. I, yeah. I think that they were all women. Not that I have a problem with it. I was just wondering yeah. why. Just well, yes, yeah, it seemed like a coven. Like okay. The, like, like. Okay, gotcha. Understood. It seemed it seemed like they were trying to use because even when you first see him, it's the first scene in the show. You see him surrounding some type of ring. Yeah. It feels very like uh, futuristic Stonehenge type thing. Mm-hmm. They're not facing towards it initially, and then they turn around. and They all have to grab onto it. And what they get this the is this is when they get the vision of the secret, uh, and only yeah. only Nerissa survives unscathed. She rescues her aunt. The redhead from mm-hmm. earlier with the tarot card game, um, and so they like it shows you how how they know everything, uh, but it's not really shown how Narek knows it. Yeah, it, it, like maybe was wondering maybe you. this is the difference between Javaj and Tel Shiar. Maybe like I think I think Narek's Tel Shiar and she's and and, and Javaj. I mean his sisters both. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Understood. Yeah. Just wonder. Just wonder because. Yeah. How would he? Why would he be there? Why, would, if he didn't already know, like the possibility and this and that and whatever, but like, so like, my question is: Has he, has he been going after Maddox this whole time? Right? Yes. Is that the whole, the main thing. Yeah. But then this is leading him down the path of, well, if we want Maddox's work, then we have to find, you know, follow these people, right. whatever. So he was embedded into that cube for a reason. Yeah. So it seems like whatever, like it seems like whatever plan that he has come up with, probably it was a Tel Shiar plan, but the like Narissa's like. You do this, yeah. you know, like uh, it does. It's not really, you're not really clear who has the control in that relationship. It seems like to be Narissa is kind of commanding Narek to do certain things or at least threatening uh, repercussions if yeah. he doesn't accomplish certain things. So, um, yeah. And then um, the the one, there's an exchange between Picard and Gerardi where Picard's like, I know what you did. You're an asshole. When we get to Deep Space 12, you're going to turn yourself, you're gonna in. Turn yourself yeah. in. Um And Gerardi, this is the thing I haven't liked about Gerardi. I don't think I've seen her in any scene where it doesn't look like she's been crying or going to cry. You mean after the first couple episodes that was before she was introduced? Yeah, since yeah. then she's just been like, oh. Well, she says it. She's like, I want to, co- I want to commit suicide. But every even day. early on, she just had that like feeling of like. Here's my question, though. What is so like? We get, we got the answers, but we didn't really get the answers, yeah. right? We just got like the general. This is what's going on this season. Mm-hmm. We don't have the overarching, you know, what the hell is it? Is it synthetic life? Is it this? How did it come about? Blah blah right. blah. Um, what the hell could be so bad that you think about suicide every single day? Yeah, and that's like, like your, you know, <laughs> if you uh, think about suicide that much, I don't know, like, how you would keep yourself from, you know, yeah. n- n- not attempting it. Well, because she does, the, like, in the first scene, that one girl's like, boom, blows yeah, her brains yeah, out. Yeah. And it's like, okay, okay, I get it, but, like, what is so bad but, about this vision that they are not, that's yeah. the problem I, don't, I have, and you said it too, they're not portraying this vision as being, like, it's really, destructive enough. Yeah, and not, I only, mean, I wanna, I wanna, not only that, like you're you're expecting me to believe that this woman, um, Gerardi, who seems very weak spined, mm-hmm. is mentally strong enough to like main to contain this secret that's killed specially trained, basically space witches. Yeah, you know, like. But she's really smart, so she must be in control of her own mind. Uh, blah, it's blah, just blah. like I don't, I don't like the. I don't like this character. <laughs> you know? That's really what I think it comes down and, to, right? And then, and then I don't like the way she's like portrayed mm-hmm. either. And I'm not. I don't necessarily know that it's the actress. I just don't know. Like, it's. I think anybody around her would be like, "You're evil, aren't you?" <laughs> just be like, "This is your fault, isn't it?" Yeah. Like, well, you, they do you, put you two and two some... together. They do put two and two together right after yeah. she, you know, last episode. Well, he, well, yeah. I mean, and the 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 uh, medical 
uh, hologram. It's, it's just yeah. like, yeah, she disabled this, you know, she produced, like, she produced this and this then disabled me. You know, uh, mm -hmm. it's like, but again, like, I feel like every time she's on screen, it just, like, weakens the show a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we'll get, but like I said, I maybe did, she'll heroically sacrifice herself I, in that, by the end of the season. I did, I did like when, when Picard was directly com confronting her about it and, and. She didn't she, deny it. Yeah, she yeah. didn't deny it. She agreed that, you know, she would hang herself and when they got to Deep Space 12. But I almost feel like she knows that they're not either, you know, mm -hmm. that by that point she's not, they're not going to want to do that or they're never going to make it to Deep Space 12. You know, yeah. it's just, again, it, it, they play around with like who knows what at what time a lot in this show and, um, you know, it seems like they, they allow certain characters to have revelations when they need that character to have a revelation. And, that, yeah. and that's where like little bit of a nitpick with the whole Rafi thing comes in is like even if she was looking into this conspiracy theory like it just seems because you don't really know that inside the show it just seems like she's solving this super deep mystery with just like a raise of an eyebrow almost like Riker did in the last episode yeah but like you give it up to Riker because first of all it's Jonathan Frakes playing Riker yeah and you know you know he's been around uh Picard long enough to kind of piece together things from very little information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I guess they are saying that this woman, Rafi, spent a lot of time with Picard after after, yeah. after the next generation. After he's a war hero. Right. <laughs> so and he became a rescue hero. Um, <clears throat> I'm, like we said, we said mission accomplished. Yeah. Uh, there's not really much else to talk about. I don't think uh, as, unless let's just want to extrapolate on what we think will happen. Yeah, I mean. So, I mean, to me, it seems like, you know, they have two very potential paths. They're going to go to Soji's planet mm -hmm. at some point. Mm -hmm. Maybe the next episode, maybe an episode. I think it's the next one. That's what the preview show. Yeah. They get shot down. Right. So they'll probably end up there. I don't know if they're going to be there all episode, but they're eventually going to head to this um, eight-sunned um system. For I think some, so? Yeah. Hopefully. I wonder if they're like harnessing the power of it to create a weapon or something like that. Who knows? But like um, I would have liked to see a little bit more Borg still. I, I was hoping there would be a little bit actual Borg in this mm -hmm. show that had Oh, a, actual Borg, not reclaimed yeah. Borg? Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, instead they're all tiny little CGI things that get sucked out. Yeah, into, you don't even... And they're just specs with like... Even the ones that you have in scene, you don't really see see much of their practice. No, you, they, they give them, uh, like, yeah. they took off their eye, and then they'll give them, like, some plugs on yeah. their face. Or but I want to see, like, an actual Borg, Borg, Borg cube, yeah. like, come in. I want the Borg to be pissed that this cube is, like, not in their hands. I'm actually yeah. interested to see what the Borg would look like in 2020. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. how the, what their design is going to be like. Because everything, it's much more digital. Yes. Everything's much more digital now. Yeah. They did not portray that enough back in the day. Well, yeah. I'm, so. Yeah. And I think this, I think you would, maybe there would be more Seven of Nine looking uh, Borg. Yeah. Where they're not as obvious. Or mm -hmm. more, or even, or the opposite. Maybe it's just like they've gone like so much more yeah. um, synthetic. You know, but it's one of those it's one of those questions where I don't know if this is really a Borg story. This is just you know Borg adjacent, where yeah. it's really Starfleet, Vulcan, Romulan, or it's really Starfleet and Romulan, and then there's just a little other set dressing pieces. You know, and the yeah, Borg we're all just, building stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then the Borg seem to be that. But yeah, I agree with you. This is definitely a um, mission accomplished. Um, I, I thought this was a really good episode. There's not a lot of action. The 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 dialogue is handled well, though. Mm -hmm. um, there's enough movement through that you don't feel like they're just talking back and forth to each yeah. other. Yeah. And like you mentioned earlier, uh, it's just well. I felt like it was well shot. Uh, it was a little disappointing. The the CGI of the board body flying in the space was very basic CGI. And it doesn't give you any, so fast. it doesn't give you any detail. Yeah, and then uh, the scale is so the scale is so that there's less emphasis on like the individuals right. and being sucked out and the the mass of right. dots. 
yeah. of white dots in space. Right. Uh, so I think we're going to end it there. Um, yeah, I think it's a good I place to end it. We've talked about everything that happened. We talked about all the points. Mm -hmm. Talked about what we think might happen. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm happy with the episode as well. Absolutely. Thanks for tuning in. We really mm -hmm. appreciate you guys uh, sticking with us. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. We want to talk to you even more than we already do. And I finally said it right. Yes! And uh, don't forget, we have a contest for this wonderful Mandalorian figurine when we hit a certain amount of subscriptions. Mm -hmm. Right now that goal is a 1,000, but you never know. It may change. And we may add things to it. Mm -hmm. We will. Yeah. All right. So uh, remember to uh, wash your hands and don't get coronavirus, and we'll catch you guys later. Peace out. See ya. Bye.